I can't tell you where easily where I was born, but the purpose of being born, I don't know. <laughs> My parents would know that. But I was born in Eintop, Turkey. As for coming here, World War I was a very difficult period in my life. I lost my two sisters, they were younger than I, and my mother, so I decided that continent wasn't the place for me to raise family as I grow. So I wanted to come to USA. When I was in England trying to get the photo reflex camera going there, a family that was very nice to me had me there almost every Sunday to roast beef. And you know, as a bachelor, you enjoy invitations <laughs> like that. I got to be very fond of the whole family. They had three excellent young men. All of them got killed. They were aviators. And then I began to wonder if this is a matter of one minute, either you're shot or shooting. Mm -hmm. They have to recognize, and reading the reports, many of this information came through. It was no secret that we were unable to recognize whether it's our enemy or our friend and shooting each other. Then I immediately went into my full reflex camera again. And I said, this is I have to make a real fly training system. And they were using only stereotype pictures. No motion, nothing. That is to almost like recognizing you face and somebody else's. Mm -hmm. So I did. I have a very unusual way of going at things. I don't sleep when I work. I come up in my dream or otherwise solutions. This was not a simple thing, but it became simple in the end. My aim was to become happy, and to be happy, I had to continue inventing. I know a long time ago that uh, if you become part of an organization, you are no longer free thinker. Because if they go and pay for your experiment, they will get results. Well, I wasn't interested on the financial end. I was interested in seeing my thoughts becoming three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. I hope I answered it.